We are the Falco family. Brian, Serena, Cameron, Kendall, and Savannah. A family of filmmakers exploring the truth about education. Learning to document our adventures in homeschool and life and tell stories of how we live and what we learn. Friends, welcome back or welcome to our channel. I am Serena from the Falco family where we make videos about education and lifestyle. I have several videos that I'm trying to work my way through editing and in the meantime I did not want to lose my connection with my friends. There's been so much friends. Cameron's birthday, you know my baby turned 13. Uh, he also got braces. I have to catch you guys up on that cuteness. Something else. Oh you guys also know that we have been working on sorting through all the things in our homeschool home library um so that's coming along a lot slower than i wanted it to but it is coming along there's just been so much stuff going on but today what i wanted to share with you is what i'm reading here in these internet streets on youtube so here is my stack all right so the first one i have is under the broken sky on the border of the soviet union when her father is conscripted by the japanese army natsu and her little sister asa are left orphaned and destitute in a desperate move to keep her sister alive she sells asa to a russian couple following 1945's soviet occupation obviously this is a historical fiction i actually chose this book before the things in our world transpired the way that they have so i feel like this often happens in homeschool and life and it makes our learning and our curiosities and how we engage with the things that we're learning even more rich so being able to make those connections with what is actually happening in our current day is like everything in homeschool and life for us so under the broken sky i'm excited to read it the next one i have is the remarkable journey of coyote sunrise i've had this one on my list of to watch to read uh, for a while now coyote and her dad lived on the road in an old school bus which i love <laughs> Crisscrossing the nation, Coyote lost her mom and two sisters in a car crash. When she learns that the park in her old neighborhood is being demolished, the very same park where she, her mom, and her sisters buried a treasured memory box, she devises an elaborate plan to get her dad to drive 3,600 miles back to Washington State without him realizing it. With friends by her side, she just might be able to turn her once upon a time into a happily ever after, which I love. Um, I want to talk more and more about the books that we're reading, but I am not the best at recapping the stories. I actually don't really like to know too much about the stories. I just have little things in reading the synapses that really draw my attention. So love that she's living that nomadic life. Love that she's on that journey to find purpose in her family, uh, with her friends, you know, found friendships and all that stuff. So I'm excited to read this one. Then the next one I have, I just picked this one up. I already owned it in paperback, but I just added this um, 40th anniversary edition to our collection is Roll of Thunder, Hear My Cry. I actually want the whole uh, collection. I think it was published in 1976. So I'm really looking forward to reading this one. And then the next one I have is The Giver by Lois Lowry. I started reading a copy that I got from the library and loved it so much within the first two chapters that was like there's no way I can't own it so I can annotate it and just have the freedom to eat it all up. So I feel like it's going to be one of those that I really really enjoy. The next one I have, I lived on Butterfly Hill. I'm actually halfway through this one um, already and it's easily gonna be one of my favorites. So this is about a girl named, this is about- Celeste. <laughs> Cameron has already read this one and it is one of his favorites too. So I'm working my way through it and it's really cool to be able to just kind of jump in and let him know where I am and things. But this is about the, dictatorship in Chile from 1973 to 19, I think it was 1990 or 1993. It's one of those. Uh, but this is historical fiction based around that time. And it tells the story of Celeste and her home on Butterfly Hill in Chile and how she's had to leave and why. And we're getting into familyness and friendships and 
you know, dictatorships and it's just written so very well. So I'm very excited to work my way through this one. Um, it also has a second book, a sequel, and that one is, I think is called The Return to Butterfly Hill. I think so. But anyway, I'm really loving this character. I'm loving her writing. This one, um, we're actually reading together. This is our current read aloud. We're actually reading it on audiobook because I'm really enjoying that experience so far. It's magical and I'm really enjoying it. I follow three protagonists. It involves a harmonica. I really don't know exactly how to explain what it's about. So that's gonna come later on. Cam Munoz Ryan is one of Cameron's favorite uh, authors and so this is going to be my first book reading of hers and I'm really excited it's a it's a thick one <laughs> so but we have a month we're actually using this along with the Brave Writer program um, it's one of their older editions so there's not too much involved but I do think that the Brave Writer program really embodies kind of how we run through literature already so it's nice to just kind of have a guide to help me um help take a little bit of that pressure off of me so we are using that to follow along with this book and then last but not least <laughs> this is where we are friends uh, we are reading the first book in jk rowling's harry potter and the sorcerer's stone this has been a long time coming and i have like a whole story on how I felt about it, what has led us to reading it now. Uh, but we watched the movie first because that's the kind of family we are, okay? <laughs> we watched the movie first and then we read the book after and that is what we're doing. We watched the movie a few weeks ago and now we're reading through the first book and then we're gonna move on to the second movie and then we're gonna read through the second book. I'm really excited about getting into this one. So the focus in our homeschool life lately has shifted from reading to writing. And one of the things that we're really targeting right now is just the different elements of writing that's important, you know, an important part of us diving deeper into um, our lives as writers. And so one of the things I wanted to pull out was kind of just kind of developing a little bit of a... Um, a unit of study that covers world building and so I think that this will fit very nicely so a story a series of stories that has been loved by so many just kind of diving in and figuring out what is it that the author did that made it so lovable to so many um, just really understanding all the details and all that is involved in the world building process and you have to love that we have this beautiful special edition that has the most magical little pop-ups and illustrations that should make it really, really fun for us to kind of make even more memories out of this experience. Uh, yeah, so that is the last book that I have in my TBR stack. Here we go. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, just me chatting all through what I am planning to work my way through. Middle grade is one of my favorites. Um, I really tried to make it a goal to read more adult uh, fiction, but it's hard, friends. <laughs> I feel like middle grade really pulls me in. It captures my heart um, and I really enjoy it so much. So I'm excited to get through all that I plan to get through. Have you read any of these or any of these on your list of things to read? Let us know all the things in the comments. Remember, life is so very full of lessons and our goal, as always, is to live and to learn. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe.